Hello there. In this tutorial I will be dealing with the Symphony 2.3.20 with the NetBeans 7.4. So, to integrate Symphony to NetBeans, you need to go to the Tools, Options, and you will have to make sure that in the frame, in the PHP uh, part of it, you've got a selection of frameworks. So select Symphony, and in Symphony, you've got here, for example, Zend. Uh, I haven't enabled it, but you've got uh, Symphony. Uh, you'll have to download this zip file. Uh, to get the zip file, you can basically go to Symphony. And we will have to choose one of the the releases. You've got a 2.3 or 2.5. 2.5 is stable, but it's not long supported. If you look, it's supported till July 2015, while Symphony 2.3 is supported till May 2016. So, from a business point of view, it makes a lot of sense to choose 2.3. Now, if you try to download the zip file 2.3, you won't find it here, but you will find the 2.5. So, basically, right click, open a new type, cancel, and ch change that to 3. and enter and here you go uh, I've already downloaded the file so I don't need to download it again but once you download it you will find it here ok uh, if you uh, check the release this URL is very good check it and you will, it will give you an idea when when Symphony was released, okay, and uh, here is the roadmap for the support. So you've got 2.320 and 2.55, and 2.60 is uh, still under development. So this is fairly stable, and this is a long term support. Always go for the long term support this is the advice and here's the roadmap for 2.5 and if you check 2.3 uh, let's check it that's a job for you it will give you the result here so it makes a lot of sense to go for May 2016 that's what we just did okay and make sure you press OK and if you want to create a, uh, a new project you will create PHP uh, PHP application that's uh, if, you, if you desire to use the local host uh, there's a bit of configuration you will do it but uh, I'm not gonna show you in this video uh, maybe in the next one uh, you need to configure the al aliases in, uh, in in your local server. I'm using one. Uh, you you might use anything similar or whatever. Uh, click next. The project will be so name the project for example my new project and click next uh, the uh, the version of PHP on my server that I, I upload the websites to we are using 5.4 uh, change the whatever PHP you have and then press next you will have leave it on the local server you have uh, four options remote or script or built-in a uh, built-in I haven't got it so the local web server uh, site will be 
uh, in a good option this is the uh, URL you need to configure basically to have it enabled in your local server and then you press next let's just copy uh, next here you've got the frames to choose from you will select PHP something new to and then you click next it will enable the files for you and it will create the framework we are using the standard edition basically it has the binder enabled or otherwise if you download it by itself you will have to you know upload that yourself uh, if you realize if, if you while we waiting for this if you realize that the option you have got with the download you can use a composer composer actually don't let it scare you it's very nice and once you get the hang of it it's very useful so basically you could download your your site directly on the server and then download it to netbeans which is a, a lot faster than up, uh, um, you know, using it in your local server and then uploading it so basically the other way around is a lot faster but for convenience and because not a lot of people have uh, the command line or the terminal in Linux they don't have access to that so this method using NetBeans in the local server and then upload it to the remote server might be a good option uh, after it's unpacked it you we will have here you will see all the files you'll have your source file is the main uh, basically is the main chunk okay this is the root from there you will have basically uh, notice it's not the root of the domain name no this is the root of your project uh, basically you'll have here uh, symphony compatible uh, packaged with ACME uh, bundle and this bundle is uh, it has a demo this is the namespace this is the bundle so this folder will be your main folder of basically if you want a website you will create a bundle for that website I'll show you how to deal with that later but for now for this tutorial it's enough to know that how we integrated NetBeans to work with Symfony out of the box the easiest way if you compare uh, how you will enable Zend framework to work with uh, Symfony in Zend framework you will have to have a working server regardless but with Symfony uh, you, ha you are in control basically if you don't have an, uh, a working local server you could upload it directly uh, but you still can create the framework in the IDE locally this is the power of uh, of Symfony it, it, it enables you to use a, a zip file basically of the project uh, I'm looking forward for the next video and thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye.